Hello there guys, how's it going and welcome back to Marching On Together, my FM18 beta save with Leeds United and we are at the Champions League first knockout round against Hoffenheim. We are at the away game, like today we're going to do both games today. Um, uh, we do have games in between, we have quite a few, actually we have three games in between that I'll uh, play off camera and then we'll come back for that uh, that game. So since the uh, the last game you saw, the uh, disappointing 1-0 defeat to Chelsea, I was, I was very frustrated after that game. I felt like we uh, deserved more. I felt like we were a bit, a bit harshly harshly uh, treated in terms of the scoreline. But we did bounce back and we drew three really good wins. Three away games and three wins. Uh, the first of which was in the FA Cup fourth round, Sheffield Wednesday. I did rotate. Um, they actually took the lead and we had to make a couple of changes, bring on, bring on some of the first team. But we scored two goals in two minutes, Asamba Longa and Brahim getting his first goal for the club. Uh, and we won that 1-2-1. One, one. We then won a second one, second game 2-1 uh, against Wolves. Now Wolves are a bit of a bogey side to us. Um, I think if you look at the past meetings, we won our first game against them. But then we've lost three, drawn one, and then, then that one. So we... Uh, they are a bit of a bogey side, to be fair. Uh, Ponder Jansen opened the scoring with a header from a corner. Willie Bolly did likewise to equalise for them. But then Pedro Neto uh, came up with the good goal before half-time and we saw out the game at 2-1. Uh, we then went to Tottenham. Now, I think I mentioned during the uh, Chelsea game or after the Chelsea game that if we were going to have a chance of going getting to the Champions League again, we probably would have to beat Tottenham. And somehow we did. Um, we were very, very good defensively. If you look at Ponte Janssen's rating at 8.3, he, he was actually the man of the match, despite Neto getting the goal. Um, and yeah, he was an absolute rock for us in this game, and we certainly needed him. So, we are going to get straight into the game today. We've obviously we've got two games, so it's going to be a, a longer episode. The team uh, for this game, as you can see, is Pickford in goal. Uh, we are missing, uh, we haven't registered Santon in the Champions League, we just had too many players and we had to miss somebody out, unfortunately. Uh, and Garbutt is suspended, so we have to, so I've moved Norton to the left back, and I'm playing Rob Holding at right back, he's the most capable of playing there. So it is Holding, Janssen, Nagnon, and uh, Norton, in fact, I'm going I'm to nickname him, I cannot say this man's name. I'm going to call him Gango. Guys, it's not particularly for any reason, I just think Gango. So, uh, holding Janssen at Gango and Norton at the back, Ayer and Soraro in the midfield, uh, Vlasic, Elena, Neto, and Andre Ivan up top. So, we're going to get into today's game. Um, the last few games have been not amazing performances, but we've been, we have been grinding out results, which is obviously what we. Uh, the absolutely the ideal citizen scenario, really. Okay, it's a decent team talk. Whew, right, let's see how we see how we get on in this game. Shooting from left to right, and our, obviously our all white kit. Uh, we are away from home first game, so it's uh, it's imperative really that we if we can get an away goal, that'd be that'd be absolutely beautiful. But uh, we don't want to be left with too much to do. I mean, we've already surpassed expectations, really. We're already, it's just a uh, a, f a f completely free hit, I suppose. Velasquez has got away here on the right-hand side. He crosses it in, and oh, Andre Ivan hits the top of the bar, and it goes over. A decent chance for him. Just could not direct it under the bar this time. But that's a good, good opportunity. Good. Uh, it's encouraging that we're able to get that, get that opportunity, really. Now they have a corner here. Amiri takes it. It's in towards Kaderabak, and I thought that was a goal, but somehow he heads it over. Got, we certainly got away with one there. Okay, it's half time here. Um, I'm pretty pleased to be honest. A nil, a nil, nil is completely fine. Completely fine with me away from home. I'm telling they've been unlucky. I mean, they haven't really. We had one chance each. I have faith in the Morgan. They like that. And we get into second half. I, I would, I would take a nil. I know it's not very exciting for you watching, but uh, for me, it. It gives us a real chance of maybe maybe qualifying if we can uh, do the job at Allen Road. Right, the highlight here, I'm, I'm about to make a change as well, regardless of what happens, I think. Uh, Crowridge has the ball. He cuts inside, plays it to Uth. 
Uh, Schultz, now process it in, it's got to be a goal, and yes, it is, and that's, uh, I'm going to make changes, I was going to make changes anyway, regardless, um, he has not had a great game, I've been, I've been gone, Vieira, uh, is looking a little tired, and I did, I, I did get something before the game, and said he was, he had a high injury susceptibility, so, I, I need to be careful with him. I'm going to leave Ivan on, he's not, he's not playing very well, but I'm hoping that if he gets a goal, we could, uh, he, he could go on a, a decent run because he, he has been on a little bit of a, a an off run at the moment. I may end, I may may have a little chat with him to see if uh, we can improve matters. And you say it's a bit fortunate there that the the block came in, Schultz beat he, beat his man and just knocked it across and it was a simple simple tapping. Yeah, yeah, make the changes, and we'll see if we can. Oh, I mean, two 0 would be very very harsh. Demebe to Schultz, he puts it into Wagner, he puts it across, and it's so poor defensively. Why are we not with him? Okay, so 2-0. So what, what what looked to be a, a decent uh, decent performance, has, or a decent result at least, has turned into a bit of a nightmare. It's going to be a big ass now. I'm going to I'm going to bring on Brahimi to see if he can add a bit of, uh, bit of unpredictability, I suppose. Yeah, they've got another throw in here. Schultz plays it to Wagner, who uh, passes that, that to Vogt. Grealish, he shoots and it goes just wide. Wow, the second half has been very, very poor. I mean, looking at it, we've had the better of the game. We're just giving away two, well, two tappings, and the time is ticking down. But yeah, it's going to be, a, it's going to be a big ask at Allen Road. Not impossible, two nil. Um, three nil is a bit more difficult though. It is three nil. My word, time is gone, ref. I mean, I know, I know it's not. Like, I'm cutting at straws a bit there, but three nil that makes it. That probably makes it a uh, tie over. To be, to be honest. Exactly what we didn't need to happen. Just, just was to put it round the wall, and it's a poor, poor setup of a wall there, really. And we're now into the six minutes of four minutes added on. Is it just how many can they score? A referee, is, it, is that what we're doing? Mazic, Schultz has it. Comes back to Demo Bay. Goes to Ivan. Okay, now we're on, now we're on the attack. So that obviously mean the uh, obviously mean game over. Well, there it is. Well. <laughs> Pathetic referee, pathetic. Okay, so uh, awful, awful performance. Two goals from Uth and uh, one from Demebe right at the end gives us no chance. But I said I'd do the game and Bohemian's picked up a pulled hamstring, so he's out for a few weeks. I'm going to send my sister to probably ask for that. Anyway, so I've got three games now, uh, one in the cup and two in the league, and I'll join you back for that, uh, well, that that difficult looking <laughs> Hoffenheim game. I'll see you guys in a second. Right then guys, welcome back. Um, three games we've played, I'll, I'll just run you through now, there's been one win, one, draw, one loss, one win, and one draw. So, pretty pretty mixed. Uh, the, we lost the FA Cup game against Bournemouth. Um, I did rotate quite a bit, but we were still very, very poor, if I'm being honest. Um, Zubar put them in front, Steven Zubar. Or Zuba, maybe. Um, Temen actually he's got his first goal for the club, which is good to see. And then Abu Bakar uh, made it 2 1, and they saw out the game. They probably should have won by a few more, if I'm being honest, but they didn't. Um, we went and then followed up, though. We bounced back with a 1 0 win against Newcastle. Andre Ivan uh, got the winning goal just before half time. Uh, unfortunately, though, he did pick up an injury uh, during that game. And it means that uh, it doesn't show it doesn't show it there because he, he didn't he didn't actually go off injured. But after the game, was, I was notified that he had an injury. It was a, a ligament injury a few weeks out, so he's, he's actually not available for this one. Uh, we then drew two two against Stoke. Um, Nikola uh, late yeah, we we took the lead. Sorry, like Vlasic scored first, uh, Seferovic scored, and then Vlasic scored, and then Seferovic scored. Similar story in both halves. We scored relatively early um, and then they equalised fairly soon after. Um, so a little bit disappointing, we played quite well in that game, just could not get that, that could not put them away really. Um, we probably need, after, we went, after we went ahead, we just need to play some more time to uh, be ahead and, and, and sort through what we're going to do. So then, um, now I had a, I've, I've had a look at Hoffenheim while we've been away and they, they're, they are playing a three at the back system and I've noticed that whenever we play against three at the back, we do struggle. Chelsea, for example, 
play three at the back. Wolves play three at the back, and up until and you know, I mentioned earlier on in this episode about them being our bogey team. So I've decided to completely switch it up for this game and give you something wholly, wholly new. <laughs> Prepare yourself. So what I've gone for is a back three of our own. Um, Pickford and goal, obviously. Holding Janssen and Gango at the back. Uh, Vieira is still in that normal play, in that normal defensive midfield position. He still gets, he gets good ratings. Uh, Vlasic, Storaro, Hoiberg, and Neto across them across the, uh, as a midfield four. Uh, Elena playing that advanced playmaker role, and then uh, Temen is actually playing up top to them because as well as Ivan being out, Asamba Longo is out also. Um, I, I also made this change a little partially because um, obviously Santon is not registered again for this game, and Norton's injured, so we ha we have no right backs. So that was part 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 of my thinking. Now I don't know how this is going to work. Um, I, I've I've changed the system as well to be a bit more uh, possession orientated, as we now have more players in this middle area of the pitch. We're very well covered here, and so I'm hoping that we can. We'll probably see a different style from us. Whether it'll work or not, I do not know. But I'm going to submit the team now, and we'll see how it goes. I don't, I, we couldn't we couldn't do much worse than we did uh, last time, so we may as well. Give it a go. You see, they're playing their three at the back. It's like a different way. They're doing it with wing backs um, rather than the well, the wing backs are pushed on with our system. It's pretty much the only difference. And they play an extra extra man up front. So let's go out there and passionately say let's go get revenge. Um, I'm curious to see how we just get how we get on with this, this this kind of system. It's completely new, obviously. And it's not ideal to do it to change it on the day of the game and do this kind of thing, but I'm curious to see how it how it affects the uh, the stats afterwards. So we have possession here, Neto with it, Elena. He just he just gets tackled, and for some reason Uth is just through on goal. I mean, what in hell's name was going on there? I don't think it's anything to do with the tactic. I think that's just a a bit of a mess to be honest. Uh, Vieira has it. He finds Hoiberg, the Storaro. We can uh, find a ball out here. That would be nice. Vieira again. He, f he tries to go out wide to Vlasic and does. Vlasic now is forced inside. He tries to pick out a pass. It's really poor. He's told to go on the outside of, of his man and, and, and try and beat him. Now they are getting Agpaguma uh, across into Kramaric and Pickford makes a save. Now... I am I am concerned about the amount of times amount of space in behind now our, our wide men, but they are only playing wing back, so they may not it may not be as big of a threat as it would be if they were playing actual wingers. Um, so I guess I, I I think this game is dead. I I am I'm trying something out here to see how it how it how it works how it looks uh, in the game. I see we're having a lot of possession as we're going to have now with this uh, this style. A corner here. Elena knocks it in. Bauman comes out and catches, unfortunately. Let's see. So how how are we setting up defensively? So Hubner. Okay, well they weren't quite direct there, so we we, we do pick that up. Elena has it. It's very well. It slides it into Temen. Can he get a shot away? He does. It's on target. Uh, Bauman makes a decent save. I think also the fact that Ivan and Abamyang are injured at the same time is a little. Is a little frustrating, but it, it can't be helped really, and it gives a chance for uh, for the youngster. I don't think anything's going to come of this now. It's just the uh, post chance. I like there it goes. Look at the stats. We are having the much better of the game. We are we're having more possession. We've had we've had more efforts. We're not giving as many fouls away as we uh, usually do. Vera there steps in. Storaro on it. He finds the ball over the top towards Temen. He beats, he gets the man, and he hits the right at the keeper. That was a much better chance, and that, that one should have been a goal, in my opinion. And that's two good chances he's had. That uh, perhaps, you know, on another day, if, if they get they both go in, suddenly we are back in this uh, this tie. Now then, uh, Grealish plays the ball over. And that's the ball we we're concerned about. That that ball straight to the the wing back. Um, we just don't have the the cover for it, but and then there's another, there's another one to the opposite side, and Osh puts it across, holding deals with it, and maybe we can actually lead a counter here. So they're getting in behind, but they aren't punishing us yet. 
And Elena is bursting through the field. He needs to find the ball. It falls to Serraro. Can he score? He can. Stefano Serraro puts the ball away. He doesn't score many for us. Uh, I think he broke a, a, a bit of fortune in there. Um, Serraro started the attack there. You can see he was leading, leading it away. And he laid the ball off to Temin. And uh, he played a nice ball into Elena. But I think he got lucky here. I think he got tackled. Actually, I can't know what happened there. I think it ran off Storaro, off Grealish, then just found its way through back to Storaro, and he finished absolutely superbly. And with 10 minutes to go to half time, it's been, a, it's been a good performance. I am worried that they could score at any stage, but it's been a really, really good showing from from this uh, this, this new new style. And Vlasic is in, puts the ball across, and what a save that is from, I think it's Oliver Bauman. That is absolutely stunning, and we probably should be a, few, a couple of goals up at least. Vlasic has got an injury, twisted knee. That's not ideal. We don't really have anybody who can play that role naturally. Um, Alyaski is back from his injury, but he's a uh, very low condition, and he's not really a, a wide right player. Um, I'm going to say again, we get, we get revenge. Same, same thing I said earlier. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with how this is going. It might, might be something we do against teams who play back threes. Um, so Alyaski or Bentaker. I'm going to do Alioski, I think. Um, I don't really want him cutting inside. That's where it'll, it'll, just be, it'll just be running into into our men. We need, we need him to keep keeping that width. I'm going to keep him on the white wingies. It's not it's not great, but I think he's better at it than Bentaker. I mean, it's not a bad option, a wide playmaker, but I'd rather have a winger there. To be fair, so we'll. Uh, Make that change and we'll get into the second half. 25 minutes to play now. Lena's got a free kick. He swings it in. And there is Temin. And actually, it, we get another goal. And suddenly, this game is actually on. I I really didn't think that making this this this, uh, this, this system change would, would do anything particularly. I thought we'd maybe even get a bit of a hiding. But I thought it was worth a, worth a go. 20 minutes to go. We need one goal to force extra time. Can we do it? Right. Let's see if can we make a... A substitution of any kind. I think I'm going to bring on Ayer for Vieira. Just freshen things up in that area. Hmm. See, all the second players are actually playing well. So I don't really want to want to change it. I mean, the options are basically Bentaker or Brahimi at this stage. But I'm going to I'm going to leave it. We've still got 10 minutes. Hopefully, we can. Uh... Oh, only a few minutes to go. Let's. Let's go on attacking. No, no reason not to. A few minutes. Come on, come on. Oh, I think that's going to be it. Come on. Put a ball across. It's saved by the keeper. We get a corner. I should have gone to overload, really. I just never really trust it. The corner's played in by Elena. It's cleared. Uh, and there it is. That third goal they scored after added time in the first leg was the end, ended up being the killer. But look at that for a, a difference in performance compared to the first leg. We were absolutely dominant in that game. Thoroughly deserved the win. And I'm pleased with the performance. Yeah, I really am. It, it's good to know that we, we, we have a different way of playing if we need to. And that, that's what we showed there, that we can play a completely different way. Uh, went out of Champions League, Vastage out for uh, about a week. So that's uh, not ideal. We get five million pounds for playing in that uh, that stage. And yeah, it's, it's disappointing. I thought Hoffenheim were beatable, but that that performance in the first leg just wasn't good enough. Let's see, it was, it was a fairly even game actually. We just did, we just gave them very, very e two easy goals, and then they scored a, a brilliant free kick. So yeah, so that that will bring us to the end of the episode, guys. Um, I'll just show you where we are in the league currently. Uh, we are three points off Tottenham in fourth. That's got to be the, that's got to be the aim right now is to try and hunt down Tottenham. Um, we're fighting with them and Man City, really, maybe Everton at a push. But yeah, we are we're in a we're in a fight and we're gonna have to be up for it. But we've got a, a reasonable looking run running to the end of the season. I think what I might do is see how we how we're doing towards the end and do a, a something a, a, a double live comp near here, maybe maybe the West Brom Brighton duo. Well I'll see how things are getting on up until then. Obviously there's no competitions left to play for we are at the FA Cup we're at the Champions League now so it's, it's all about the league and whether or not we can uh, we can finish in that Champions League place again hopefully we can uh, if not then maybe Europa League beckons but 
yeah, if you have enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. Follow me on Twitter, of course, at DLCDave1. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.